Yo, how's it going guys? Y5K, welcome to a new tutorial on FIFA 23. On this video, we are taking a look at the bicycle kick. If you are trying to score a bicycle kick for an objective or you just want to have fun on FIFA, well, on this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a bicycle kick, how to get the best across for a bicycle kick, and the most important thing, how to score a bicycle kick on FIFA 23. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, before we jump into the video, if you're not on here, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated and now let's jump straight into the tutorial. Now first thing first the bicycle kick does not require any skill moves at all you can do it with a player who only got one star skill move. But if you are doing it for an objective I would recommend use a player who has got the flare trait he will make it way easier for you. And if you want to perform the bicycle kick first thing of course the ball should be in the air you have to cross it or maybe use a skill move like the sombrero flag. And then when you want to shoot, you should be holding L2 and then shoot. Now L2 on PlayStation and LT on Xbox is the flare button on FIFA. What does that mean? That your player is going to perform a fancy shot or what we call on FIFA a flare shot. What I mean is your player might not go for a bicycle kick every time. You might see him going for a scissor kick, a scorpion kick or even a back heel shot. But don't worry, if you get the cross right, your player will 100% perform a bicycle kick. So with that being said, let's move on into how to cross the ball for a bicycle kick. Now the first one is gonna be the normal cross, all you have to do, cross the ball, hold L2 or LT and then shoot. But in my opinion, it's not the favorite for a bicycle kick because sometimes you're gonna see your player going for a scissor kick. But at the same time, if you get the ball right on the cross, you have a big chance to score a wonderful bicycle kick. I would say from 2 to 3 bars of ball for a normal cross will do for a bicycle kick. Now the second one that I'm going to show you is the favorite for a bicycle kick. If you are doing it for an objective, I really recommend using this method. All you have to do before you cross, you should be holding L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox. And then cross the ball and when you want to shoot, of course, you should hold L2, LT and then shoot. When you hold the L1 button, what will happen here? Your player will cross the ball high in the air, so your second player will have the time and the technique for a bicycle kick. And in my opinion, this is the best method if you want to score a bicycle kick, especially if you are doing it for an objective. Almost all the clips that you are watching, I have used this method to score a bicycle kick. And for the power of the cross, I would recommend two or two and a half bars of power and always try to aim for a player that does not have any defenders around him. When you have defenders around you, player, it's gonna be really hard. That's mainly because the defenders can easily hit it away while your player is trying to do a bicycle kick. Moving on into the third and the final way, which is by scoring a bicycle kick from a corner kick. And this is the hardest one in my opinion. If I'm being honest with you, since we got this new system for the corner kick, I'm not scoring any goals from a corner at all. Not even headers. However, if you want to try to score a bicycle kick from a corner kick, first thing first, try to aim for the first player you have in line. And this time you have to put ball on the cross. I would recommend three bars of ball from a corner kick. And then of course, when you want to shoot, you should be holding L2 and then shoot. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is all what I have got for you for the bicycle kick. I hope this video was helpful for you. Still, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.